Hi, this is Dave, aka Blue Ridge, on YouTube and on forums. And what I'm going to show you today is I'm going to show you how to use free software to convert a video file from your camcorder, digital camera, or in my case, my Droid phone, to a format so we can then sync it with iTunes over to your iPad 2 and it allows you to edit it in iMovie because it adds it to your camera roll. Of course, here's my video I've already done. I'll have a link to that video at the end of this video. Go to Google and type Ali Soft free iPad video converter and you see it comes right up this is the manufacturers page so we're gonna click here here it is right here free download go ahead and download this software and install it on your PC and then I'm gonna show you the settings you need to change to make this work so I already have it running right here first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit profile drop down box we want iPad HD video mp4 again that's the drop down box on the profile iPad HD video MP4. Next thing we need to do is we need to choose the output folder. So it's down here. Let's look right here. Now what I did is I went ahead and made a new folder in my My Pictures folder called iPad Videos. And you'll see why I did this when we go to iTunes. It makes it real easy to do on a PC. So go ahead and hit OK. Next thing we need to do is we need to add the video we need to convert. So we're going to click right here where it says New Task. And then it's going to give add folder or files. I'm going to select this video and I've already named it GarageBand. And this is the video I took of GarageBand locking up on my Droid. And so we're going to hit OK. So here it is, 3GP from a Droid. I'm going to go over to MP4 so I can move it over to my iPad. And this is very important. We're going to go up here to options. And your settings need to match what I have here. Go to the audio tab by default. And the first thing, audio channel. It needs to be double channel and the audio needs to be AAC the sampling rate this is very important it needs to be custom 44100 so make sure yours says 44100 the bit rate should default to 128 if it's not change it to custom 128 adjust audio we don't need to do that now we're going to go up here to the video tab and click there your video codec needs to be H264 if it's not you need to select it so we look for H264 here it is your frame rate should default to 30. If it doesn't, go ahead and change that. This is very important. Your bit rate. Make sure you select custom 2500. Again, the bit rate needs to be changed to custom 2500. Now we're going to go to resize. And we're going to resize your video to 720p. So we click custom size 1280 by 720p. And then leave the aspect ratio normal. So we're going to save and save and apply. And now all we need to do is hit convert. So I'll go ahead and start it. Depending on the size of the video and how fast your computer is, this may take a while. Uh, I have a pretty fast computer, so it doesn't take very long, but I'm going to just cancel this one because I don't need to do it again. I've already done it. And you can see it's right here. I've already done it before. Once you have your video converted, you're going to go into your iTunes and hook your iPad to it. As you can see, Dave's iPad, I have it hooked up. And then you're going to go to this Photos right here. This is where it comes in very important, and this is why I put it in my pictures because by default, Windows, all pictures go to my pictures anyway, unless you change it. This is what you want to do. Include videos. So make sure you select that. And here's my folder, iPad videos. I want to select that. And then you want to hit apply. Now what that's going to do is it's going to sync that folder to your iPad. And thus it's going to take that video we just converted and move it over to your iPad. Once that's done, go into iPad, go into iMovie. And then you can see in your camera roll, the video we just converted is in there so you can edit it. Now, of course, I've already done that, and this is the video right here. Now, this video I converted with the same software, and I've already uploaded it uh, to YouTube. I edited it in iMovie. So this is how you do it. It's very simple, very easy to do using free software. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching my videos. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Please subscribe to my videos because I'm going to continue to make iPad 2 videos. And so I'm making all these different videos. I've got videos showing your video examples from the rear facing camera in 720p. And those are straight from my iPad 2. So again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.